was just about to do some clothes shopping for the family this fall when I realized the min pile was getting out of control. So I decided to go ahead and patch the knees in my daughter's pants, mend holes in the hand knit sweaters and socks, replace buttons wherever they had fallen off or were needed, and then just take a look and assess everything and see where we were at with all of it. Once I was done with all the mending and repairing, it kind of felt like everyone had a whole new wardrobe. Hello. Grass is crunchy, huh? They got frosted. Why is it so cold outside today? I bet the tickets outside get old. My dad is coming to pick up his bobcat, which he has very generously loaned to us at the end of the month. So we have been trying to use it for everything we can possibly think of. First we need to tear down this makeshift pen that we slapped up to hold the animals during the wildfire evacuations. And then we need to take down any remaining old fencing we don't plan to use on the property. Um, it's just a lot easier to remove big wooden posts that are secured with concrete when you have a bobcat or some other kind of tractor. Next, we had to deal with the big wood pile that was out in the pasture. Really beautiful flush of mushrooms here. Nice and firm, not too soggy. Wow, that's intense. Some was cut up for firewood and stored behind the garage. Some of the really big logs we decided to put in with the goats for them to play on. 
And what we couldn't use, we left for burn season. We used it to spread out the rest of the gravel. And then just yesterday, we tried to mow our grass down and realized this area could use some leveling out so it's not so treacherous. Now I think we've used it for everything we can possibly think of to use it for, so we're pretty much ready for my dad to come pick it up. So I bought a couple bags of seeds for ground cover because um, we've been doing a lot of excavating on the field and it's just dirt. And I got one 10 pound bag of white clover. And then I got this bag, which is a um, goat forage blend and it contains all this fun stuff. It says the best way to um, spread the seeds is to use a seed broadcast spreader. But we're honestly just going to go out there and spread it by hand as best we can and hope for the best. Excuse me. A big hand. They've gotten so big. Yeah, they, this week they've grown like exponentially. Yeah. I guess I haven't raised them from a pulley. Yeah. Careful. It's purple. No, that's not purple. It's orange. It's time to raise up that sweater. I've received some messages asking about how Matt set up our brooder. So he went ahead and wrote up some notes with a supply list and everything, and I will have that up on my blog. The link is in the description if that's something you think you'll be interested in. See you next time. <laughs>